Ambulances race across cities in Brazil, desperate to slow the death count from COVID-19. But it's a losing battle with record figures, 4,195 deaths in just one day. Brazil is now considered the global epicentre of the pandemic. Contagious new variants have overwhelmed hospitals, with hundreds dying as they wait for treatment. The, the infections have uh, reached a plateau, it seems, but the deaths haven't uh, started declining. So it seems like we are still in for about uh, two more weeks of increasing deaths. Some cemeteries have been holding nighttime burials to deal with the growing numbers. Brazil's death toll of 337,000 is second only to the United States. We should have had stricter laws like in some other countries. It would have been hard for people at that time, but we would have had a much lower number of deaths, I think. President Jair Bolsonaro has pushed back against mask wearing and lockdowns. Last week, he swore in a new health minister, his fourth since the pandemic began. Brazil was also slow to secure vaccines. So far, less than 10 percent of Brazilians have received their first dose. There are still a lot of people to be vaccinated, so we have to go faster, act faster. If they had acted faster at the first stage of the pandemic, there wouldn't be this death rate. Argentina also marked a record, more than 20,000 new COVID-19 cases in 24 hours, its highest daily count. The government responded with tougher restrictions. Argentina's president, Alberto Fernandez, is isolating after testing positive. But in Buenos Aires, residents say life must go on. We have to go to work. There is no other choice. We have to go out. And well, we're going through a spike. Many cases, many cases. Chile is also seeing a surge in cases. The government reacted by postponing elections originally scheduled for this weekend. We are confident and will work with no rest so that on the 15th and 16th of May, sanitation conditions will be more favourable for elections so that the people's health is not at risk and we have a high level of participation. A morbid picture across much of Latin America, but in Colombia, a story of survival. 104-year-old Carmen Hernandez was discharged from hospital after three weeks. It is the second time she has beaten the virus. Charlotte Bellis, Al Jazeera.